Hi everybody, Brent Haywood Photography here. We are on Michael Selter's newest yacht listing in San Diego. It's a 112 foot deep sea marine. I want to talk to Michael about some of the specs. He knows them slightly better than me. Michael, tell me some more of this. Yeah, she was built in 1987 here in San Diego. It was synonymous with California. The boat's been amazing as far as the capabilities of the West Coast. It has been on the East Coast. It's got 3,300 mile range, 26 beam, tons of toys rooms. You could put motorcycles, you could put jet skis, you could put tenders, dive equipment, huge bait tank. I mean, the boat is just dialed for adventure. What's the list price going to be when it goes in the market? We're going to ask Okay. Excellent. I'm going to do It's good. Happy I like it. I'll take that extra 100 grand if there's some you know, wiggle room in there. Perfect. Okay, let's go check out the rest of the boat. All right. We always have to worry about on the larger yachts is draft. So we were actually going to shoot a little closer to the bridge, but the captain on that boat said, hey, we, we can't get in that tight. You know, you would think we're almost out in the middle of open water out here. We're actually not. So we're repositioning the boat back up this way, probably 100, maybe 200 feet. So we've got 15 to, what, 15 or 20 feet draft? 17.8. 17, 17.8. So that's still on the edge for a boat like this, comfort wise, but we're going to set up here and see what we get. So one of the funny things about living in the mountains is your gear freezes up in the car overnight. So I have to open up this bag coming down into San Diego for a good solid hour so the uh, lenses don't fog up. And no fog, so we're good. And it's not even critical. Wherever you want us, we just want you parallel to the sun. So wherever you want. Gosh, it's looking pretty already. So we just finished up the uh, waterline shots with the bridge behind the boat. It looks beautiful. Now we're going to get it to do a 360 roughly in its same footprint so we can get all sides of the boat. We're going to switch over to doing the drill. I'd like to introduce you to the captain of this yacht, Fabio. I can't pronounce his last name, but he's going to let us know what it is right now. It's uh, Ma Fabio Marchese. See, that yeah. wasn't as that bad when he said it. For, for me, it wasn't. <laughs> Fabio, a couple of quick questions for you. What on a yacht like this is the most important to a captain? Like, what makes this boat special to you? Uh, to, to be honest, what's special about this boat is it's just a solid boat. It's a tank. When it's going through any ocean, you know, you're not feeling uncertain about it, you know, if you're going for it, you're giving it a good haul. She's steady. Earlier you told me it's it's a world traveler. Yeah. I mean, it's been all over the world. Like, where's some, where some of the places this boat's been? Uh, I mean, she's done west coast of the U.S., she's done east coast of the U.S., down to Panama, Costa Rica, Mexico, flat out, uh, the whole of the Caribbean. So yeah, she's been all over. And he's got an excellent cabin, which we'll take a photo video of later, which I'm kind of jealous of. It's nicer than, than my house, but you know, this is a substantial yacht. Okay, let's move on. One of the things I really like about this yacht is mirror image staterooms down here next to the master. Um, they're they're good size. They each have their own ensuite bathrooms. Really well appointed. Each one of them has like a desk set up, their own TVs. So one of the key things obviously on a yacht is these spaces are usually much tighter. Now this bathroom is fairly big for a yacht because it's a larger yacht. Uh, but this one I'll be using a mix of the ultra wide angle and the tilt shift to pull some of the ceiling out. This is a spectacular bathroom. Let's knock this shot out. Another 
key thing about photographing yachts, which is obviously different from houses, is that we can swivel this yacht around for the best lighting. So I've probably been on the radio with the captain 50 times today, just asking him to spin the boat to the starboard to port, uh, stern into the stun, uh, bow into the sun. And for this shot, we wanted some side lighting coming through just to highlight this lacquer and the tile so you get this kind of bounce back reflection off the windows. Had we had the boat turned around, we would get none of that. But this is the way to shoot it. And uh, on the next shot, we'll talk to the captain and have it move it again. Normally on a yacht of this caliber, I would talk about the specs first. But look at this galley. It's amazing. This is a full-blown, professional-grade galley that I would like to be in, at least eat and drink in. But take a look at some of this fit and finish and details in here. Right now, we've got these long, uh, streaks of sun coming through and we're looking at the military base which isn't a great you know scene out the window so we're gonna spin the, the boat 180 and have the uh, bridge out the window instead if you can uh, spin the boat 180 would be great captain thank you copy that Membership has its privileges. Thank you. Oh, it's just water. Look at all the amazing space for toys that you have. Uh, great for uh, you know a single owner uh, of a yacht like this, but if you also wanted to put it into charter, I mean, check this out: two jet skis, uh, beautiful Zodiac. You could probably put more on this. Got a nautical structures crane right there. And the other thing I'll show you here in a second is we've got some exercise equipment which you'll never see me on except for this shoot. If one were to work out, this would be a good place to do it. We have a massive deck back here. We've got this running machine, exercise cycle over there, plenty of place for yoga. You can obviously tell that I don't work out, but this is an excellent place to store your cocktail and it comes with a radio if you need it for another cocktail. Two-handed for safety, folks. So this is the flybridge, and look at this amazing space. I mean, we've got, you could probably get 15 plus people up here, right? All day long. I mean, from whale watching, spotting your fish, relaxing, watching the sunset. I mean, this is really a great area. And this is actually a, a serious fishing machine. Oh, yeah. We haven't even really talked about that. No, I mean, it's got a huge bait live well, and that aft cockpit is, is a massive. We should probably go down and take a look at that. So we are now in between the day and the twilight shoot, and typically what we do is we go back to the dock for a couple hours and take a break or a nap or a cocktail or something like that. Michael just told me we're gonna go take a cruise around the bay to kill some time, uh, which is about the best way to kill time. Absolutely, it's a beautiful evening. We should stop at one of the restaurants and have a cocktail. There is a Valley High. The Valley, can we get the Valley, can I we get this on the Valley High dock? You know what, we'll make it happen. I'm thinking that is the <laughs> best place we need to kill some time. It is now twilight go time. We've got about uh, 10 minutes or so before the sun hits the horizon. And these windows are gonna go with that dark electric blue, which is kind of our signature look. So we pulled the boat back to Glorietta Bay. We've got the, <laughs> we've got the bow into the sun to start with, uh, but then we'll end up shifting the boat around a couple of times, depending on uh, the windows and how the shadows are falling across the boat.
concludes our photo shoot on Michael Selter's newest yacht listing here in San Diego. Reach out to Michael below for more information on the spectacular boat.